from breaking down NFL. Uh, any looks in the uh, to win Super Bowl, to win NFC, AFC? Any looks there for you? I mean, you you'll be hard pressed to convince me that we're not going to have a Super Bowl rematch. I know how rare that is, um, but I just can't see anybody beating the Chiefs, and I just can't see anybody beating the Niners. I mean, off season wise, this was a relatively uneventful offseason yeah a lot of big moves happened but not quite like other years obviously the Brady one is big noise uh the Saints are super talented but I wonder if Drew Brees's arm is going to hold up for yet another season so I mean that that would be my preseason pick for those two and it's not a it's not a sexy pick it's not a glamorous pick it's in fact it, it comes off like a very lazy pick but that's just how I feel I I I think you have challengers, but in my opinion, those are the best two teams in football right now. Birdie says thoughts on Packers 13 and three last year. Vegas brings out their win total at nine. Their win total here is bet three sixty five. It is eight and a half, but minus one sixty to the over. I I think the Packers take a step back from their wins last year. Uh, look, their their wins last year kind of were inflated from a very easy schedule. Um, I, it comes down to Aaron Rodgers and how happy he is, and I don't see him being very happy this year. You know, spending a first-round pick on a, on a developmental quarterback is something that Packers did with Rodgers, but I just uh, – I just don't know how happy Rodgers is going to be, and I don't know how good that offense is going to be. They, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. They, uh, I, I'm looking at the under for that win total. To be honest with you, I think the Pack take a, they take a hard step back, and you know we might see Aaron Rodgers in another uniform in 2021. I, I think it could be that bad. Also, like I don't know how they didn't address the wide receiver position. That was Green Bay's biggest problem last year is nobody to compliment Devontae Adams. And they just ignored that. And that's got to frustrate Rodgers even more. I don't like the juju that's going on there. And um, I, I wouldn't be putting any money on, on Packers overs this year. I like it. I like it. Rob Bebenek here. We are two weeks away from NFL action. Here is his Twitter handle at Rob underscore Bebenek. Go follow him on Twitter, and he'll be providing us with breakdowns all year long. Bebzy, also one of the best stand-up comedians in North America. Your album, your debut album was just uh, released. Could you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, dropped my debut album yesterday. It's called Everything is Fine. It's available on iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. Um yeah, it, uh, it was like my fourth attempt at, at uh, getting this album out. I had audio complications a bunch before, but uh, yeah, so far the reviews are pretty great. So if you want to check out something funny, I'm pretty fucking good at comedy. <laughs> All, right. All right, BuzzNut says great NFL breakdown. There's going to be a lot more, a lot more of this. Follow our man Bebzy on Twitter. Bebzy, thank you so much for joining us, sharing your insight. And Bebzy will be uh, live Tuesday nights when the lines come out. And Sunday morning's pre-game, Bebzy will be breaking down analysis and figuring out who we should hammer. Uh, Bebzy, thank you so much for joining us, my man. Enjoy your weekend, pal, and I'll be in touch. Thanks for having me, Jimmy. Appreciate it, bud. There he is, Rob Bebenek in the house.